Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. Uh, Happy New Year, happy 2020 for you watching this because it is 2019 still, it's actually New Year's Eve. We are recording this in the past. <laughs> I guess actually now that I think about it, every video we record is always in the past. Sure. What if we recorded videos from the future and sent them we back? Try that sometime. You guys ever get a video <laughs> where it's like, you guys, it's Adam and Sherry, we're in the future, we've got some news. Like pay attention to that <laughs> video because that is definitely a different one. Anyway, total tangent, you guys, we're back. up taking the whole last week off and just sort of rested I was still kind of getting over my sickness and so that was not super fun but I'm feeling better now would you say this is the best you felt during the month of December yes that's awesome <laughs> so so happy I'm still not 100% but I'm much better than I have been yeah I'm super glad Sherry's feeling better it was really nice to have the week off uh, we did a couple things we put together a couple Lego sets we if you follow a puzzle. put together a puzzle if you follow us on Instagram you saw those kind of things and honestly we just like slept in a whole bunch and just had like I don't know a nice time of rest and relaxation. This guy took a couple of naps every day. You guys, I did. I was <laughs> like, like a minimum of two. <laughs> multiple naps per day, which was honestly really, really nice. We're actually heading out to Wasilla right now. Uh, we're gonna celebrate New Year's Eve with some friends. However, this speaks to how old we are uh, and how great our friends are. True. We've decided we're gonna celebrate New Year's Eve on the East Coast time. So it'll be 8 p.m. here, 12 p.m. on the East Coast because we're all just like, and then we're gonna come home. <laughs> we're all just like, you know what? We want to sleep. Like, we're tired. We want to go to bed. Right. Uh, and so then we're gonna, gonna make it midnight. Let's be oh. real honest. <laughs> so we're gonna celebrate East Coast time. We might have the Walt Disney World fireworks live streamed. Yeah. But that's what we've been up to. We are super glad to be back vlogging. I will say the break was really nice. Uh, it was nice just to have some time to not worry about editing or, or vlogging, just to be able to do kind of whatever we wanted to. Agreed. But I will say, I am definitely ready to get back at it. I'm excited about what 2020 holds yeah. here for Lug Life. Uh, but honestly, I'm mostly excited for the brisket that our friend Ben is making tonight and the fact that we have a bunch of fireworks and good food. So let's go do that. And we're not entirely sure what the weather is doing. Uh, we did have, as you saw, a white Christmas. It did snow on Christmas Eve, which was amazing, but it has since just warmed up. It was almost 50 degrees today, and I guess tonight we're supposed to get like eight inches of snow. So. Who knows? And that's really strange because, you know, one of the unique things, I guess kind of unique about Alaska, is that when I was growing up, and even when you first moved here, like when it snowed and when winter was here, it was basically winter until spring. Yeah, like it would snow in October and it was just covered in snow. It would just keep adding snow on top of itself totally. until like April. We normally would not have this like snow and then everything melts and snow and everything melts. Like that is not the Alaska I grew up in. No, it's so weird. And so for it to be New Year's Eve and for so much of the snow that we received over the last week to be melting, yeah. and then tonight, again, four to eight inches is what they're saying. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know what is going on with the weather, but I sure wish winter would get here and stay. You guys can actually see that it's 47 right now. I saw earlier on Twitter that today is the highest temperature we've ever had on a New Year's Eve in Anchorage. This is crazy. So we're here in Wasilla, drive uneventful, which is the way you want to drive to be. We're gonna go hang out with some friends. Cue New Year's Eve slow-mo now.
with our friends and I just want to show you what's happening outside. The forecasted snow has started with a vengeance and I think Adam might be trying to build a very tiny snowball. <laughs> and not only is this snow here but you guys look at the temperature it has dropped almost 20 degrees in the last few hours. So it looks like at least for the rest of New Year's Eve winter I think is here. Yeah. So if you guys want to know how cool Sherry and I are uh, on the way home, this is how we're spending part of our New Year's Eve, 9.30 right all, now. All of our New Year's <laughs> Eve. Apparently all of our New Year's Eve. Uh, there's only one Sonic in Alaska. It opened a few months ago, right? And it's out here in Wasilla. We have not been. So I have not been to Sonic in Alaska yet. Right. We were driving by on our way home. I'm like, you know what I want? I want a cherry limeade. Let's swing in. It's 9.30 at night on New Year's Eve. Who's going to be here? Everybody. Everybody. Apparently the answer is everybody is. And apparently there's only one person working. We've been waiting in this line in the drive-thru probably 15 minutes, I would say. Uh... And I, I bet we're about halfway through. You guys, we're going to spend probably half an hour uh, in a Sonic drive-thru on New Year's Eve at Alaska's very, very first Sonic ever because I wanted a cherry limeade. You guys, leg life is wild and crazy. <laughs> You guys, New Year's Eve, woo! We are going nuts. Sitting in lines. Sitting in lines, drinking who knows how many cherry limeades. <laughs> we live a crazy, crazy life. So I'm hoping this sort of shows up, but we are in like white out conditions on our way home here. It's a little bit crazy. So we made it home. Uh, the roads were terrible. Awful. Like among the worst we've ever, ever driven in. Yeah. But you guys, we had so much fun out there with our friends. Ben and Amanda were there, their kids Gracie and Noble, our friends Rich and Rachel, some of their kids were there. It was just, I don't know, so much, so much fun to get to spend New Year's with uh, with friends, shot some fireworks, ate some amazing food. Oh my goodness. That is one of the consistent things every time we go out there. The food <laughs> is always just like, just phenomenal. Yeah. So, so good. And you guys, we actually got something uh, from Ben and Amanda and it's not really, it's not really ours. Right. We're more caretakers of it. Right. <laughs> you guys, we've got to go show you what we brought home from their house. Look at this. It is the giant Disney Lego castle. Oh my gosh. Um, how amazing is that? So crazy. It was so fun when they were putting it together uh, after Christmas. Ben was like texting us updates like, like throughout the- timing and like it, it was, was really funny. <laughs> so stinking cool. Uh, we actually are gonna work on a project tomorrow here at the house where we clear off a space in our office or our studio where we film our YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. That's just gonna be for our Legos because we kind of have like a lot of Lego sets now. In yeah. fact, you guys, check out the sets we built over the last few days. Uh, first of all, you guys, the Hogwarts Express set Oh my gosh, we had so much fun building this one. This was a Christmas gift from our friends Kelly and Caleb and we loved putting that together. And then this one is an Imperial TIE Fighter. We also had a ton of fun doing this one. We wanted to do this because we're going on our Star Wars Day at Sea cruise and so we're trying to like get into the Star Wars mood and we loved, loved, loved that one. We had a ton of fun putting those together, didn't we? We did, yeah. We also did a puzzle which yeah. was a little less fun. It was fun for me. For me. <laughs> I don't, I enjoy Legos more than I enjoy puzzles, but we did have fun did. with the puzzle. Also, if you guys hear like giant booms behind us, New Year's uh, Eve. it's New Year's Eve yeah. and our neighbors love, love, love fireworks. So that's what those are. But since this is our first video of 2020, we thought we'd take a minute here at the end of the video, Sherry, talk a little bit about some of our New Year's resolutions, yeah. what we're hoping to see in 2020. So tell us, what are your resolutions for this year? Well, we talked a little bit. I think we're yeah. going to try to make this year the year of health. Yeah, we've talked about this a lot on our channel about kind of our our struggle with weight, our struggle with health. Just that journey for us has been, uh, it's been a battle. We've both lost a lot of weight, which is great, but we have a long ways to go. Yeah. And so for us, it really is more about health than about uh, kind of weight loss. Right, actual like scale, but like how do we actually feel? Totally. So we've actually started some things already. Mm -hmm. uh, taking steps toward that that you'll hear in future videos. But yeah, for us, 2020, definitely a year of uh, of health. You know, this is a year that I'm actually turning 40 years old. Yeah. And so there's something about like staring down the barrel of being 40 <laughs> that I feel like, um, it feels like I need to do it now, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Uh, maybe like 40 feels in some ways sort of like halfway through life. <laughs> and I wanna be able to enjoy the second half of life. And so in order to do that, uh, there's some steps we need to take for health. So that's definitely a goal for both of us this year. Sherry, what else for you? Uh, we talked about, I, I want to make my Etsy shop a little more of a priority. It's kind of just been like a hobby and something I do when it's fun, but um, kind of pressing into that a little bit more and, and making it more of a 
priority, I think. You guys know we started our shop about a year and a half ago, right? Mm -hmm. And when we started it, like, we didn't know how it was going to go. It was <laughs> right. it was a total, like, honestly, it was just a step of faith and even a step over fear for Sherry. Right, like, I literally made things active and I was like, okay, we'll see if I sell anything at all. <laughs> and it's been so successful. Like, I'm just <laughs> yes. so proud of her for not only putting herself out there, but her art out there. I think we've talked about this before on our channel. Um, when you're a creative person, it's really scary to put your art out there because like the rejection of your art is also in some ways a rejection of you, right? right? And so it's like, it can be fearful to put it out there because like, if they don't like this, that means they don't like me. They don't like me. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with me? <laughs> totally. And so like, she put it out there, she overcame that fear and you guys have loved it. Yeah. And it's been so successful. So that's one of the things that we've talked about. It's like, okay, what next for her shop? So I loved when she told me that that's one of her um, resolutions this year because you guys know I love supporting her. I think what she makes <laughs> is amazing and I'm excited to see what 2020 holds as she steps more fully into that. Thank you, baby. So what about for you? Um, definitely the health thing as we talked about that. Uh, one of my resolutions, if you guys remember from a year ago, was more focused on like relationships with people. And I think we've actually done a pretty good job of that this year. Yeah. But maybe it's because, again, maybe it's because I'm turning 40 and I'm getting sentimental. <laughs> like, I just want to invest, like, in people. And this is going to sound weird, but, like, I want to say no to people who are, like, life-taking. And so that I have the capacity and the margin to say yes to the people that are, like, life-giving to me. Right. So in some ways, like, I want to do, like, I don't know, less of the stuff that I don't enjoy, more of the stuff I do enjoy, more time with people I do enjoy. Uh, I'd love to end like this next year by saying like I got to connect with people really well, yeah. got to spend a lot of time with people that I love and that I know love me and that are life giving to me. So I think for me, if I could end 2020 feeling healthier, uh, both physically and healthier relationally, that that would be pretty awesome. Yeah. A couple things for us we have kind of in 2020. Obviously, we have a few trips planned. Yeah. We have our cruise in how many days now? Well, we leave, I think, in 19 days. Oh my gosh. Uh, you guys know we're going to Florida, going to Disney World, and then going on a seven-night Star Wars Day at Sea Disney Cruise, which we are freaking out about and cannot wait. Right. I just want to go now and like wait in the <laughs> 100%. <laughs> and then we have our Leg Life Viewer Cruise in September, which still blows our mind. We're even doing that this year. Right. Uh, but other than that, those are actually the only two trips we have planned mm -hmm. for this year. So we might add a couple more trips, but we have talked about maybe this is a year where we actually travel a little bit less. Right. You've um, got some work trips. I've planned. got some work trips planned. Uh, but for us, we might not travel as much as we did. Certainly not this year where I feel like we traveled a lot. Right. Uh, partly just because of budget travels expensive and I don't know that we have a lot of room in our budget for that this year right. uh, but also partly because um, we'd like to save up for maybe some bigger trips we'd really like to get back to Europe you know yeah. and so we've got some things that we're working toward in future years mm -hmm. but you guys that's where we're gonna end this um, so glad to be back with you yeah. so glad that it's 2020 crazy so excited to see what this year holds not just for us and our relationship and for our channel but also for you guys we get to meet a whole bunch of you guys yeah. this year at our meet and greet coming up in january mm -hmm. on our viewer cruise i cannot believe it's 2020 that sounds <laughs> we were talking earlier that sounds like a fake year it does <laughs> like 2020 does not sound real you guys we love you we'll see you on the next love life video